All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up a 3040 CNC machine. It was purchased off Amazon using this particular servo, uh, I'm sorry, a stepper motor driver. It is a parallel port driver and it does work with Linux CNC. So obviously you'll need to have Linux CNC already installed. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's plenty of other tutorials and if you read the directions on the page, it tells you how to do it. Uh, first things first is hopefully you've done this during the live version not installed to make sure that your computer passes the latency test. If it does not pass this, you will have pretty poor results. You see this computer here actually does pretty well. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the testing I did, but it passed just fine. And ideally it needs to be under 20,000, uh, 10,000 is even better, but whatever. But you see the base thread is uh, 10,000, which is fine. Okay, so you got to write that number down and then go to Linux CNC, step kind of wizard. Alright, click start. I already made a file, um, so I'm just going to modify it, but this, 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 uh, the numbers in here are pertinent to the machines, okay? Anyway, name it whatever you want. You'll need to change the reset defaults to millimeters. The step time is 3000, the step space is 3000, direction holds 40,000, direction setup is 40,000, and then whatever your base period maximum jitter was, enter that there. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, these may or may not need to be selected. Okay. Uh, the invert uh, pins that you're not using, pin eight down to pin seventeen. Just uh, change them on use. The input is e stop in. Okay. Uh, for this particular machine. In order for me to get it to go the right direction for X, I had to click invert for both X step and X direction. Actually, as a matter of fact, all Y step, X step, and Z steps had to be inverted. The directions may or may not be, it just depends on your machine and how it's set up. Okay, you need to enter the paraport base address. You'll see it says a zero. Um, usually it's X378, but if you have to go into the BIOS, with uh, before the computer's booted, go into the BIOS setup, you will be able to get the base port address. Okay. Click forward. Uh, click forward. All right. Um, for this particular machine, these are the numbers you need. The motor port steps per revolution is 400. Micro stepping is 2. Lead screw pitch is 5. Maximum velocity is 33 millimeters a second. Maximum acceleration is 200. And this will be the same for also... Uh, the y-axis. I'll show you here. If you click the button to go to the right, it should go to the right. And if you click it to go to the left, it should go to the left. Okay. So that's fine. All right. That's same thing for the y-axis. Micro steps revolution 400. Lead screw pitch is five. Maximum velocity is 33.3. .3. Maximum acceleration is 200. Okay. And table travel. This needs to be get changed. I didn't do it on the X. Uh, just because I haven't measured it yet. Uh, let's just make that four. Well, we'll change that eventually. Anyway, uh, you'll need to make sure you enter the right information so that way you don't uh, the motors don't over um, don't go too far. This one has no end stop switches, so you need to make sure that you are paying attention when you're first figuring this machine out, so you don't break anything. Anyway, so the Y axis will test it. All right, I assume this is forward. I assume this is backwards. All right, that's peachy. And we'll configure the z-axis, same thing. Micro steps revolution uh, is 400. The maximum velocity is 12.5 millimeters a second. Maximum acceleration is 100. Now, table travel, negative 40 is the maximum height. Because you got to remember with CNC machines, they go down. So. Um, you set that up to negative 40 is the maximum height and then down to zero is where you want it to go. Anyway, we'll test this axis and you see it's going down, going up, okay. And let's say almost done, click on that and then it'll pop up with some things. I'm going to discard those changes and then it'll pop up with an uh, icon on your desktop. Launch this. There's no errors, you're good to go.